Hi everyone! So today I have decided to refilm and remake my triple fishtail tutorial just because I'm not very happy with how my last one um, came out and it is getting very popular now. It's got like a lot of views. And so anyways, um, I did get some comments saying I did go a little bit fast just because that is one of my older videos where I did go a little bit faster. And um... Also, I didn't really like how I filmed that tutorial and my teaching was not as good. So I decided to remake it today. So hopefully those of you who were unable to make it with my previous tutorial were able to make it with this one. So anyways, um, my previous tutorial may have used a different technique. I don't know because I haven't watched it recently. But um, in this video, I will be showing a slower and um, better version of how I create this bracelet. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need a rainbow loom. You do need a loom that has the open base so that way your bracelet can come through the bottom. So if you have any type of loom with a fixed base then you will not be able to make this bracelet. Um, you will also need rubber bands. Today I will be using bands in the colors of white, rose jelly, and lime green jelly. You will also need your hook and three C-clips. Um, this is a pretty C-clip consuming bracelet, I guess you could say, just because um, for a very even look around the whole bracelet, you would want uh, three C-clips. However, you can modify the ending of this bracelet so that way it can suit only one C-clip, but I personally think that it looks best with three. Um, all my supplies here are from the Rainbow Loom web store, including this metal hook that will be available in an upgrade kit with a mini loom. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So before creating this bracelet, please make sure that you are familiar with how to make the um, basic fishtail bracelet. You will need to know that during the hooking process and to kind of understand how this bracelet works. So um, we will be using six pins here, so you're going to want to choose pins that are um, where the open part of your base plate is down at the bottom of or the top of your loom. So first I'm going to start with my first color and I'm going to go from this top pin to the pin that is diagonally below it so that way you get um, kind of a figure eight or an infinity sign like this. And for the band process this first time I'll hold my loom like this. You're going to take your color again, do the same thing on the next two pins below so these should be parallel like that. And you're going to take the same color again and make it an another infinity sign. So you should have three parallel lines like this and each one of these will be an individual fishtail. So this will be a fishtail, this will be a fishtail, and this will be a fishtail. So you want to push those bands down. And now you're going to take the color that's going to be like the outside kind of frilly part of your bracelet. And now you're going to take this and put it along the left um, side of your pins to make a horizontal line. This is the band that's going to hold these three fishtails together. So if this band weren't here, then all these fishtails would be individual by themselves. So this is going to connect all of them together. Push that down. And now we're going to add on our next layer. So I'm going to add on pink first. And we, were, we are not going to have to um, cross our bands in the center again. That's just for the beginning of this bracelet. So you are going to just start at the top and just put that regularly. Do the same thing to the next two um, fishtails. So you got that one and you're going to go on this one. So you should have something like this. This is basically the basic um, band pattern that we will be doing. There's not going to be any bands going from like these two pins or anything like that. This is basically how it's going to be for the rest of the bracelet. So. Um, now you're going to take your next vertical band and you're going to do another vertical strip here like that. So this is what the side of my loom looks like and it's okay if your bands get a little bit out of order but this is how it should be like that. Now we're going to add on our next layer of fishtails so oh, I'm supposed to use white now. Um, I'm going to add my next white layer so you're going to do the same thing for all three Oh, that band broke. Here and here. 
So you should now have three layers of um, bands that go, we're going to call these horizontal bands even though they're a little bit diagonal, but we're going to call these ones here horizontal bands and this one's going to be called a vertical band here. So you should have three horizontal bands on each set of pins. So as you can see, white, pink, white, white, pink, white, and white, pink, white. So you should have something like that. And now we're going to add one more vertical band. So you're going to put one more band that goes vertically here. So yes, the beginning is a long process, but I promise it is totally worth it. So now we are going to start the hooking process, which gets kind of confusing, but after you um, get the pattern, it is easy and you can fly by. And now we can start the hooking process. So um, you are first going to turn your loom sideways, and I'm going to turn mine sideways just that way you can see this a little bit better. But as you can see, we're going to we're going to be using our horizontal bands during this part. So just focus on the horizontal bands that go here. And I apologize if my teaching is really slow during this part. This is going to be a slower tutorial than my previous one. So um, you should have three horizontal bands here. So what you want to do is grab the very bottom one, the one closest to the uh, to the base of your loom. So here's the third one. It's kind of hard to see all my layers, but here I'm going to grab this very bottom third one and I'm going to grab this and I'm going to pull it over all the three pins. So just pull that over like that and release. So just release it there. This is this here is connecting all of the fishtails together. So now we're going to start hooking the horizontal bands also known as the three fishtails here. So you're just going to hook like um, you would in a normal fishtail bracelet. So at first we're going to hook this whole right side because this is the easiest side of all of them. So you, what you're going to do is just grab the bottom band here, pull it over, and release. Grab the bottom band here on the second pin, grab that, pull it over the pin, and release. And do the same thing onto this very bottom pin. Grab the bottom band, over and release. So you should have released all of those bands there. That's just your basic fishtail stitch, nothing special there. Now on this uh, three set of this set of three pins on the left side of your loom, it does go a little bit differently. So we do have our long vertical bands going over um, across down all of these pins here. So you're going to stay on the inside of the vertical bands. So you're going to go inside of these vertical bands here, stay on the inside, and then just grab the bottom band, pull it off of the pin, and hook over. Can be a little bit tight on the top one just because it's got a little bit of stuff holding there, so there is some friction, but don't worry about it. Same thing on this one. The second pin here, stay on the inside of these vertical bands here, grab the bottom band, and pull over. Now this bottom left pin here is the hardest pin to hook just because there are a lot of bands in the way. So we still have to go inside of this horizontal band, but uh, these hor this blah, blah, blah. we have to go inside of these vertical bands here. So make sure you stay on the inside of the vertical bands. But obviously it's going to be kind of hard to pick through when we go through this pin. So just start at the top above the pin and then go inside and circle around so that way you are inside of only these vertical bands here. So again, around here and then grab the bottom band here and hook over like you would in a fishtail. So just make sure that all your bands are in the right place here. And so you should have something like this now. So yes, we do have the hard part done with learning how to do the steps for the first time. I promise it can only get easier from here. So now what we're going to do is add on more bands. So we always start with the three horizontal bands here, the fishtails. So you're going to take your next color and just put those along all three of these pins, sets of pins. Like that. Like that. So you should have something like this now. And now we have to add one of the long vertical bands. So just take your color for the long vertical band and put that going vertically like that. So you should have something like this now. And now we're going to start the hooking process. So um, I know it was a while ago, but we do have to hook this vertical band here. So you're going to turn your loom sideways, or I'm going to turn my loom sideways so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. But 
we all we always have three layers of vertical bands here so you can see three layers and we are always going to grab the bottom layer so grab the bottom layer here and you're going to just pull that over all of the three pins pull it over and release that's going to hold all three of the fishtails together and now we can hook the fishtail so remember um to start on the easy side grab the bottom band pull over same here, grab the bottom band, pull over like that, bottom band here, pull over. And it really doesn't matter what order you hook um, all of these bands in, you could start here, you could start in the middle over here, um, as long as they all get hooked. But I like staying in the same pattern all the time to make sure that I don't forget any pins while I'm hooking. So. Um, we should have something like this now, and we're going to hook the left side now. So remember, we need to stay on the inside of these vertical bands. So stay on the inside, grab the bottom band, hook over. So basically, the hooking process is the same for both sides, just what's different on this left side is that you need to stay inside these horizontal bands. So just grab the bottom, hook over. Now remember, this is the hard one. We still have to go inside the vertical bands. Do not hook from the outside here. Otherwise, your bracelet's going to look kind of funny. So you need to stay on the inside here and just go on the inside of the top of the pin, circle around, and then grab the bottom band. So this will make it a lot easier. Like that. So you should have something like this now. And once again, it is time to put on more bands. So we are going to start with the three fishtails, or the horizontal bands. So like that. So you should have something like this now. Now we have to add on the one vertical band like that. So you should have something like this now, and we are ready to start the hooking process again. So turn your loom sideways, or I will turn my loom sideways so you can see what I'm doing. And once again, we have three layers here. So you're going to grab the very bottom layer. This is basically just like a fishtail here, just really stretched out. Grab the bottom layer, pull that over all the three pins like that. Now we're going to start hooking the fishtails. So I'm going to go a little bit faster now, and if I'm going too fast, then feel free to use the pause button. But um, this side is just normal fishtails, so nothing special. Just hook the bottom band over. Like that. So you should have hooked all these three over. And now we're going to hook the left side. So make sure you go inside the horizontal band, or the vertical band here. Grab the bottom layer. Pull it over the pin. Same on this next one. Grab the bottom band, pull it over the pin. Now for this one, make sure you go in here, circle around, and then grab the bottom band. Makes it a whole lot easier. Scooch that off of the pin, like that. And we have finished um, our next process. So you should be able to see the start of your triple fishtail forming right here. Um, like I said in the beginning, this is a pretty time-consuming bracelet. Um, it does take quite a while to make. It will take a couple hours, probably. I remember when I made the first video and I made that bracelet, it took me forever to make that bracelet. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this the steps one last time. Just so that way I can make sure you guys get the gist of it. And then after that, I will go ahead, go off camera, and finish my bracelet since it does take a while. And I don't want to have you guys watch me in fast forward do this whole bracelet because that would be quite a while even in fast forward. So anyways, um, we're going to do the whole uh, steps one last time. So remember, we put on the horizontal bands first. Like that. So you've got your three bands here and then one vertical band, like that. So now once you're to this point, we're gonna hook over this um, big uh, vertical band. So we're gonna go here. Once again, we have three layers. You're gonna grab the bottom layer here and just pull it over all three pins here, like that, and release. And I apologize if you hear background noise. My parents and sister are upstairs watching a movie. So um, 
Now we're going to go ahead and hook over the um, bottom bands on this right side. So just grab the bottom band, hook over, grab the bottom band, hook over, and grab the bottom band, hook over. So you should have something like that. Now we're going to go ahead and do the left side. So make sure you stay inside of the, uh, the vertical band. I always call it a horizontal band for some reason. And release. Same thing here. And release. Now for this one, remember, start here, circle around, then grab the bottom band. And hook over. Like that. That one tends to fall off, so make sure you um, keep it on there. So anyways, your bracelet will continue to go down through the bottom of your loom. Sometimes you might need to give it a little stretch, so some I just like to use my hook and kind of pull it downwards a little bit just to make sure that it is coming through in the right direction here. But with it being so short at this point, it is kind of hard to maneuver it around. But anyways, um, so please go ahead and watch the uh, uh, instructions part again if you are still having trouble. Um, again, this is a very hard bracelet to learn. After you've learned it, it just speeds on by. So um, it's okay if you are still having trouble because I know a lot of people do have trouble with this bracelet since it is quite difficult. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go off camera, go join my family with the movie and make this bracelet and I will be back to show you how to take it off of the loom. Okay, so I'm back with the uh, finished triple fishtail, which I think these colors look really, really cool together. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to finish it off. So you should have two layers of horizontal, uh, uh, two layers of vertical bands, and two layers of um, horizontal bands on each of your three sets of pins. So you should have two layers on each. Now for the long vertical band, you're just going to remove the top one. It should be loose, not attached to anything. You're just going to take it right off, set that to the side. Now what we're going to do is we are going to get rid of this um, horizontal band here. So you should have one remaining horizontal why do I keep calling this a horizontal band? You should have one remaining vertical band, and you just want to pull that over the pins like that and release. So you should now have no more vertical bands on your pins. So at this point you are going to hook over all of the bottom bands. So for me, um, in my case, this is going to be my lime green band. So you're going to hook over all of the bottom layers over your top layers, which for me is white. And it's okay if it gets a little loopy and stuff because we're going to fix that later. Now you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to grab your 3C clips. So I have mine here and I'm just going to set these down over here. So we basically want to attach each sides of the horizontal bands to one C clip each. So um, there are multiple ways to do this. One way is, um, I'll show you a different technique on each one. One way is to take your C clip and you're going to hold it with the slit side up. And basically you're just going to scoop over the band and into the C clip. like that. So now I've got this on my C clip here like that. And now I'm going to show you another way to attach the bands. So um, you're going to take one side, hook it over and put it across your loom and directly onto the pin across from it. And then slide your C clip onto those two. Make sure it's on both before you remove it. And take that off. And I think this way is so much easier than the first way, actually. So I'm just going to continue that and slide that onto the pin. Make sure you grab both here. Pull that off of your loom. And you should now have something like this. So basically, you're going to take each side and match it up to its um, the matching side, I guess, is what you could call it. So I'm just going to attach these on. Okay, so I now have something like this. And basically that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that those of you who were unable to make this bracelet for my previous tutorial were able to make it this time around. Um, 
And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And if you're able to make this bracelet successfully. And also hit the subscribe button on your way out. Um, and also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. My links are all in the description box below. Once again, I really hope you like this design I created. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!